Hello guys, so we are going to proceed to chapter 3 and lesson 1 is about the fretboard. Um, our last lesson from chapter 2 was the open G. This one, the open G string or note or chord. Now, we are going to find the G note or chord on the fretboard. So this is G and on here second string fifth fret is also G and then up here third string tenth fret is also G so G G G and then we've got another G here on the fourth string third fret Alright, then you're going to wonder how did I manage to find all those G notes or chord on the fretboard? Well, one uh, tip is the fret markers or the dots that you can find on the fretboard. So, the purpose of these dots um, is to make life easy. <laughs> you don't have to keep counting where you are on the fretboard so this first dot is on the third fret fifth seventh ninth and then twelfth fifteenth seventeenth nineteenth so it's easy for you to to visualize and figure out where you are that's why when i said i'm on the tenth here because i know that the a dot here is the ninth fret so plus one is tenth all right when i said g here it's the first dot is on the third fret okay so some um doesn't use the dot they got trapezoid and other designs and that's why it's called fret markers not necessarily the dots or fret dots but um, if you find a guitar that doesn't have a dot, sometimes it's placed on top. So like this one, it's got dot on here and dot on the top here as well, or I mean on the side. So when you're standing, you still got a reference where you are from the fretboard. Okay, others got a marker up to here. So on the first fret, they still got markers there. So it's easy. So 1, 3, 5, and then 7, 9, then jump to 12, 15, 17, 19. Alright. So going back um, about the fretboard, let's jump to E, the open string here. E plus 1 is F. And then when you move half step, it's F sharp. So E doesn't have sharp, it goes directly to F. Then F plus one is F sharp. And then move again, G, then plus one is G sharp. Or some people would call it half step. So E half step is F, then half step F sharp. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, there's no sharp for, for B, it goes straight to the C note. So B and C, E and F. So it doesn't have a sharp for E to F and B to C. And then C, half step, C sharp, then D half step d sharp then back to e so technically your open string and your 12th fret is your octave so all the notes there are just similar notes from here as well so e open and on the 12th fret fourth string is also e e e a a d d g g Alright, so these are your octaves here. 
Um, so if we're coming from this direction going backwards, so E, if you move half step downwards, is E flat. E flat and D sharp are the same. So it depends on how you're looking at it and which direction you're going. So from E up here going downwards is E flat, D, D flat, C, there's no C flat because earlier we said B going to C. There's no B sharp. So the same when you're going backwards, C, it goes straight to B. Okay. And then B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, then F doesn't have a flat because E goes straight to F. So F, go back to E. Okay? So I, I think you will figure it out soon. Uh, for now, just refer to the diagram on the ebook. And familiar yourselves where the notes are and what are the notes in that uh, fretboard marker so we got G C F and this one is a sharp B flat all right so on the first fret we got F B flat E flat and um, G sharp or A flat okay so just keep familiarizing yourselves with the fretboard and the markers and the notes on those markers because it's easy for you to just plus minus once you're familiar with the notes on that um, markers uh, instead of overwhelm yourselves with all the notes okay I'll see you on the next um, lesson.